Hello and welcome to Caroline Gold Music Channel. I'm an artist from Kenya doing folk music, African folk music. I do folk love songs. I do folk inspirational music. And sometimes I do gospel classics when my friends and my fans request. You can check my music is on my channel, Caroline Gold Music. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do. I have lots of good things coming your way. I have songs out there. I have audio talks and I do this audio talks on my talk shows because my friends find my songs inspiring and sometimes you can do a six minute long song but six minutes are not enough to really talk about the message that is in the song welcome currently I did a song titled Ntoko Wekana Ntoko Wekana uh, translates like we cannot be the same okay and then i go on in the song it's an inspirational song let me say that before i go on in this song i talk about the different kind of situations or different kind of people we have out here people go through a lot in their daily life but when you meet them out there they put on a face a face that you don't know there's a face for the world there's a face for our family there's a face for our friends there's a face we put on at work and then there's that face you have for reality when you look yourself in the mirror when you are alone there's a face that you see and then you know like that is the face you engage with now i go on in the song and then i say we can never be the same what you have i may not have and the same thing what i may have you might not have what i'm blessed with as caroline you might not have the blessings if you see me like caroline i'm wealthy right now if i tell you the path i have walked i don't mean i'm wealthy but i'm just using as an as an example like if you see someone is wealthy don't ever feel bad for them don't ever be jealous or even see yourself like you're not worth it that is why you're not making it no if these people would give you their backstory of how to of how they got to be where they are right now you might not you might not like the path if i would tell you my story caroline growing up from a young girl growing up an orphan passing through adulthood being a single mother at a young age i don't think anyone you want to walk in that path only for you later to be blessed and have stability and everything calms down it's like calm coming down after a very heavy storm i don't think you want to walk through the storm some people walk through or the fire some people have to go through before they reach their place their their place or their destination or before they even arrive and get to be blessed what am i saying when you see people out here people are smiling people are going through a lot some are having sicknesses they live on medication daily it's not like they want but life has served them that plate or that portion and they have to go through it every day in their life do you think they like that no but then life slaps you with that and that is what you have to deal with so when you meet these people out here try to be friendly don't be harsh try in as much as you can to spread positivity be the sunshine in someone when they meet you they light up and smile when i make this kind of songs it's not because i grew up and i wanted to become an artist no Life put me through hard situations. Life met me, meet people along the way that the challenges or the things I faced, be it the good side or the bad side. You find yourself inspired to write a, to write a song because I know the songs I sing, like this song, We Can't Be the Same, or Ntoko Wekana, is a song I know that will inspire someone out there. It will give them energy, good energy to rise up and and to rise up and be like, this is not the end. Let me try and be a positive person. Can we try to help people out here when you find someone in a tough situation or someone is hitting a low moment? Let us help people. Not because you know them, not because they are your friends, not because they, are, they have a title or a name, but because you have that good conscience from within you to help people even when you don't know them and you don't expect anything back and you don't go saying oh why it's not me why it not me no 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 help someone do the good works because you are conscience 
direct you to do that. Let us be stepping stones to other people that when someone meets you, they get to, to, to you be like a bridge they have to pass to get to the other side of the good side. Without them looking back with regret. Let when people meet you, they find the pillar of life, the pillar of love, the pillar of laughter. They go and say like, wow, that is a person I would like to meet again in my life. Because I know when I meet that person, I feel free. I get good energy. Even when it comes to our relatives. Are you the type of a person people can even come to your home and feel at home and be happy to come to your home? Even when you are poor or you are rich or whatever kind of class you are. Are you the type of a relative people are happy to come to your home? Or you are the type of a person people really stay away from you because they know when they come to your place, nothing good will come out of you. There is always something negative that is going to come out of you. Or they fear even engaging with you because you, they know you are not friendly. You are not hospitable. You are toxic. Friends can't visit you. Family can't visit you. Because, you, the, because of the energy that you have. For me, my wish is that I want to be as hospitable. I want to be a parent to a child out there who doesn't have a parent. They can call me mom. They can call me auntie. They can call me their friend. I can give them a hug. They don't have to be my children. They don't have to be my blood for me to love them. Because my conscience and me personally, I've grown up as an orphan at some point in my life. I know what it feels like. I've been without my mother. I know what it feels like for a child not to have a mother figure in her life. Especially being a girl or even a boy, you need both your parents in your life. And those people out there who don't have that, even in their latter life, even in their older age, they still have that void in their life when you come across these people. Do they see you as a person they can call their person who is not there in their life? Some people, we have people in societies, as I sing in the song, they raised their children very well. But then when their children grew up, they died, all of them. And these parents are there sitting miserable, sad, with resentment. They keep asking God or the universe, why did this happen to me? Why did I give birth to all my children? And they died. Some parents, their children are into drugs. They are drunkards. They are rebellious. They ask, you know, God, a lot of questions. They ask their ancestors a lot of questions like, why did I have to go through this? Why did I have to deal with this in my life? Nobody wishes that. And when you see these people dealing with this, don't be there. You are like, oh, it's because of this and this. You know nothing. You know nothing. I've come to realize that there is a reason why in every step of life, in every phase of life, anyone who comes across you or any situations you have to be in, you have to really watch around you the energy that is working. Then you can know what you're dealing with. You can be in a bad situation, but God is allowing you to be in that bad situation because he is stopping the bad things that might happen to you if he blesses you at that time or if you live well at that time maybe 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 maybe, maybe your business is not progressing and you are there crying like oh why did this happen god knows if your business progresses the wrong people are going to come into your life and they will spoil things for you so god delays your blessing some families some people are very hard working they do everything but nothing progresses and then they wonder, like, why is this even happening? Because God knows if he allows you to have the blessings, abundance in your life, if God even allows you to live in prosperity, you might meet the wrong people. You might succumb. The wrong, you might attract the wrong energy. You know, when your life is going well, you have money, you have everything. Even when you are successful, everyone in your family will love you. Not because of who you are or what you have. Yes, there are those family who will love you for what you are. But most family and friends, they love you for what you have. They love what, when they come to your house, they can get what they can take away. 
so you, so god can also see to some extreme like no this person i need to make him live a poor miserable life so that the people who really will bring you down can stay away from you until when those people are not able to come to you then god says now i can bless this person because i know this is the right time now this person will live their life in peace prosperity enjoy their wealth enjoy their hard work in peace without anyone disturbing it and you will be there weeping and crying and saying oh god why is this happening why am i why do i have to go through this god is doing that purposely for you to reach your destiny a greater destiny that no one can ever be shown it's better you grow up in a life you live a life you are miserable you are suffering you are poor as long as you are healthy you thank god some people have everything but they they live on medication daily it's not their wish pray for them also it's not their wish nobody wakes up and prays like i want to be to be take, to be on medication daily i want to be visiting hospital daily no there were some families their destiny was cut short because their parents died there are some people their happiness was cut short because their children died and they were all their hope then those people live miserable so when you come across people out here try to be the sunshine in their life try to put a smile in their faces most people don't talk me being one part, one one among the many people whom we keep things to ourselves especially when you are an orphan most people know that you can never trust anyone with anything because you don't know when you tell them your situation they will always use it against you and i don't mean to to like combine everyone or maybe to put it on everyone but some may use your situation against you later like why it not help me who helped you would, I, would have you been here sometimes god can make it possible that the people around you cannot support you because god knows you are a person with a greater destiny and if if he allows the people around you to help you they are going to later share in your better future and god does not want that because he knows these people are going to bring you down and what does god do god takes them away from you god makes everyone hate you god makes everyone not to be friends with you because he knows you have a greater destiny and those people if they are going to share in your destiny they will be your downfall and for you to be blessed god has to take away everyone they have to disappear so when 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 you meet people out here positivity is the key some people money is not the problem they are blessed with money don't feel jealous because they have money if they tell you the back story if they tell you the journey they had to walk if they tell you the life they had to grow up for them to reach where they are you may not want to walk that road you may not want to go through the fire some people have to go through for them to be blessed for them to have reached where they are If someone is rich let them enjoy their wealth don't be jealous someone has been blessed they have built a big house let them enjoy their wealth because you don't know what they have been through maybe you don't know what their parents had to go through for them to be this prosperous maybe their parents lived a poor life and the prayers of their parents are the reason they are blessed even you your time will come everyone with their time everyone with their grace me when i see the friends around me being rich i have some of my friends that are in the usa and and they are rich some in europe i get inspired when i look at them every day i say like if those are my friends then my time is coming they've never stopped being my friends maybe i'm i'm the poorest in 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 my in in my league of friends <laughs> you know they 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 go in vacations you know they go on air and, and i'm here maybe i go in a holiday once a year for them they can go like four times a year they have good jobs and i feel happy they have stable families i feel happy because i know i'm in the same circle and the circle is the ring is going to go around and it's gonna be my turn and we're gonna be the same we're gonna all celebrate me i would sit with my friends and we laugh and laugh and you think like oh these people really they have money no <laughs> they are the ones who have but we we have the same energy 
we radiate this and they don't look down upon me because I'm not in the same level like them. They love me the same. They are proud when I'm with them. You may never know even the difference or the class differences between us. What am I saying? Let us radiate good energy. Let us not be selfish or jealous of each other's blessings. Your time is coming. Some people are, are, are living in misery, you know. And you don't know. When you see them out here, they might smile. Some, some people might be harsh, especially in the internet. Be kind. In your daily life, be kind. Where you are working, be kind. Radiate some positive energy. Be a friend to somebody because you don't know. Maybe they, are, they come from a place where nobody talks to them. They have no friend. But when they come to work and you say, hello, hi, how was your night? That makes their day. There is a child in the street. They don't know anything like love. When you meet them and you smile, they, just a smile and saying back hello to them, it makes their day. They go on feeling like, wow, today is going to be a happy day. You know, someone said hello back to me. Let us spread positivity and love. The world right now needs love. Nothing but love. See your brother's child like your own. Be an angel to strangers along your way because you don't know what those strangers will bring back into your life. Thank you guys. Subscribe for more content. You're welcome.